Okay, hey everyone, welcome back. Ooh, I'm, am I? A little lag. Yeah, okay. Um, hey everyone, welcome back uh, to Mission Impact series with Tracy and Ty. This is the last part of the series, The Yellow Brick Road. We're going to Oz, right? <laughs> We're going to Oz. Yeah, so we talked about obstacles to avoid along this yellow brick road. And again, these are the shiny objects that keep your eyes off the road. And next minute, you know, you're in a ditch and you got to call a tow truck. <laughs> right? I mean, seriously, how many times have you almost veered off the road because you minded somebody else's business? Being nosy, right? <laughs> So that's what we kind of talk about. It happens in business, business too, right? You're so busy minding somebody else's business, mm -hmm. you're forgetting that you need to you mind your own. <laughs> so, and then the second that's thing we talked about, right? <laughs> right, exactly. The second thing we talked about was lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, right? And this are these are the programmatic planning issues that um, caused your programs not to be successful because you did not plan them correctly. You were planning probably from your own view of what you think people need and not what they actually want, mm -hmm. right? So we talked about that. Then we talked about, we're melting, we're melting, <laughs> right? <laughs> I know you guys are sick of me saying that now. But <laughs> I love that. Um, <laughs> and these are the effects of poor programmatic planning on the infrastructure of the organization. So if you have poor programmatic planning and then you have poor programs, then you're not really selling anything or being able to bring in money, whether you're a for-profit or a non-profit, because even in a non-profit, if you're not um, charging for your programs, your programs is what you're selling basically mm -hmm. to your potential donors, sponsors, and whatever, because you need to sell out outcomes you don't have a good program, you have no good outcomes, right? So we talked about that. And now today we're talking about the final thing. We're not in Kansas anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is really about understanding that this is a real business with real business consequences mm -hmm. or real world consequences. So... <clears throat> If this is your first time catching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where I help change agents to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyle that they desire while impacting their communities. All right. I'm Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Tracy, you got me thinking about we're not in Kansas anymore, right? <laughs> I'm thinking about this Wizard of Oz movie, and I'm like, you know what? In Kansas, everything was black and white. Yeah. Was, that's easy, right? It's like, mm -hmm. is it black or is white? And that's good. When they got over here in Oz, we didn't live in color. <laughs> well, that's the real yeah. deal. Oh, mm -hmm. it's pretty, but it's dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, 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 everybody, you know, a lot of people get excited. And we talked about last session about, you know, don't let social media fool you. And don't you mind your own business. Don't worry about what they're doing. Because sometimes people make it look real pretty, and sometimes you have pretty moments, right? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. You know, but sometimes people get excited and they want to start nonprofits, they want to start for profits, they want to start because social impact business was all new, you know, information on the scene. Everybody <laughs> wants to jump in and say, Hey, I want to start a social enterprise because Tracy Adam was talking about it on the webinar, and that's what I want to do because that's pretty. Well, that's <laughs> <what I'm doing. laughs> you, you, I ain't playing, right? But as soon as you said it, everybody want. I want to do this. I want to start a social enterprise business now because that's pretty. That's in living color right there. That's pretty bright purple oh. stuff that they got over in the Wizard of Oz, and it's boring mm -hmm. over here in Kansas, right? But when you get over here in Oz, they're not playing. They got the ten man, the lion. They got they got flying. I don't know why monkeys. <laughs> they got witches and all this kind of stuff over there in Oz, where you mm -hmm. want to be at, right? In this pretty business thing, and you got to know how to be in the play the game. Right. You got to know how to comply. You got to know how to do things the right way, or something's gonna trap you, mm -hmm. right? You got trees in the bars moving around, grabbing on folk, and all this kind of stuff going on over there. It's pretty, mm -hmm. but you have to be more careful over there right. <laughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as it looks just because it's pretty. 
right? And you have these hype men, hype women, business coaches, and cons- oh, folks, oh, girl, start you a nonprofit, start you a for profit, start you a social enterprise because that's cute, that's cool and cute right there. Win your Apple Watch or whatever, or whatever. <laughs> do that but yeah. when over here and tracy starts talking about you got to have standard you got to have sops you got to have bylaws you got to mm-hmm. have you got to have your business license and your business insurance and all this kind of stuff going on and you go okay well that's a little bit complicated right there right you got to have your programs in place if you want to generate revenue and do it consistently now you start to see that this is just not black and white right it was a yesterday thing and now we're over here because you want to be over here where it's pretty mm-hmm. you got you got to govern yourself accordingly now. <laughs> exactly. And I think that's the biggest thing is that, like you said, a lot of people look at um, other people, like we talked about, right? Um, those obstacles in the world, shiny objects, right? And like you said, shiny objects don't come in just in the form of literal objects. It comes in the form of hype men and women too, right? Mm-hmm. So we've talked about motivation. Motivation is fleeting. It is for a moment, hence MOT, the M-O-T. I just, yeah, that goes into moment, not forever. Because when you leave that hype session, whether it's a Facebook Live or Instagram Live, TikTok, whatever it is, right? After you leave, you're back into your real life, right? You're back into the real world. So if you don't have some other actions to go behind that, then those, it wears off really quickly. So then you hear me, like Ty said, on a webinar talking about the benefits of having a social enterprise or a social impact business over a nonprofit. And you're like, yeah, that's what I want. Right. And you come over and then like Ty said, I start laying it on you. Like these are all the components to it. And basically you're kind of running it like you're running two businesses. So this is the, this is the disadvantage, right? Because you have to somewhat run it like you're running a nonprofit and then you still have to run the business component of it, which is the for profit. Right. And then you're like, Oh wait, double the work. Oh mm-hmm. my God. Right. First work. Now I gotta do two work. <laughs> right. So <laughs> it's not as simple as it seems. Right. I may make it sound simple when I'm talking about it on a webinar, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Right. And I am very familiar with it. So it's going to sound simplified coming out of my mouth. But once I have a one on one consultation with somebody, it becomes completely different because now I'm breaking it down for you specifically and all of the steps that you're going to need to take in order to start grow and maintain it and fund it, right? To build, design, build, and grow. Design, build, and fund. That's what I say, right? I teach you how to design, build, and fund. So when we do that, then you're like, oh, wait, we're not in Kansas anymore. (laughs) This is not a joke. I thought this was like a get rich quick scheme. Mm -hmm. Get rich um, quick scheme. And you're going to come in and you're going to quickly make some money because you don't have to go through the red tapes of a nonprofit but yet you still have to do things correctly. And I don't like doing things with people who don't do them right. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to make mistakes. You're not going to slip up along the way, but these things have real world consequences. So like if you're a nonprofit organization and you're not filing your 990s on a regular basis or you're a for-profit and you're not filing your business taxes on a real regular basis, these things come with some real, real, real world consequences. Consequences that can get you locked up, mm-hmm. right? And that's what we want you to understand. You, What you do don't only affect you, it affects everybody else. It affects you, it affects your clients, it affects people who work for you. So you have to make sure that you are following the yellow brick road to the right path because the yellow brick road has forks in the road. You can go left, you can go right, or you can go straight ahead. You have to determine which one is the right path for you and is going to lead you to your desired outcomes. Mm -hmm. And paying attention again, those obstacles, those distractions, Mm -hmm. you know, the the jumpsuits are bright orange in us. (laughs) Orange is not the new black. Mm-mm. I don't care what they say. It is not the it new is black. Not. Black is black. Impact orange is orange. Black, right? Impact mm-hmm. is the new black, not orange. You know? That's what that is, right? So you, mm-hmm. you want to make you know, just because it's pretty, just because it's pretty, don't don't think that this is. Sometimes we just gotta stop and think about stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, jump in, to start businesses. Because Tracy and I mentioned social enterprise before, but I remember back when you first started to talk about it. And I didn't hear a whole lot of people talking about 
social enterprise um when you you know at the, around the time that you first started maybe maybe one or two kind of mm-hmm. you know different folks mentioned it whatever but as soon as i heard you talk about it it seemed like everybody talked about it i'm not saying that this is this is what happened but this yeah what, maybe i have to pay more attention then yeah right but, and, and and nobody really understood that hey this is work this is mm-hmm. not some fun thing that you do to bring in money because you can say that i'm also having this social cause or social venture attached to my business this now you're doubling your 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 your, your output you mm-hmm. have to do more things exactly because you have to support your for-profit portion of your business which supports that lifestyle i talked about right and then a portion of that still now has to go towards the social impact portion of your business to support the people who you said you have a a interest in supporting that was your mission that was what you wanted to champion so you need to make more money than you would normally make so that you can support both entities and then still have rainy day money Right. And still have ready day money. Mm-hmm. People don't think about that. I mean, yeah, that's just a lot, a lot that goes into it and that people just overlook because they're looking at the hype man. They're looking mm-hmm. at the hype woman and they're like, oh yeah, I can do that. Right. Because they said I can do it. And they sounded good when they said it. So, we, so I'm going <laughs> yeah. to we're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they'll come to you, Tracy, and go, oh, I, I had a consultant and she didn't do, she didn't do what, whatever because and that consultant didn't do a thing to you. You just <laughs> chose the wrong person. You chose the wrong entity. You didn't take the time to do your due diligence to figure it out on your own. You mm-hmm. just listened to something. It sounded great. You made a split decision in the hype of it all. So, yep. yeah. Somewhere so that is it. Oh, Go ahead. I just said somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> yes, definitely someplace over the rainbow. Right. And we did not get to the pot of gold. Uh-huh. <laughs> So that is it for the Yellow Brick Road series. We went all the way to Oz. Now um, we're going back to Kansas. We weren't in Kansas anymore, but now we're going back to Kansas, but we're going back to Kansas better people. We understand ourselves. We understand what we're supposed to do because we know the obstacles that we need to avoid. We know um, the lions, the, uh, the lions, tigers, and bears or mice, which is how to avoid those programmatic problems. We know that if we have programmatic issues, that it's going to affect our infrastructure and we're going to have to let go of all of our staff and close down our businesses. And that is we're melting. (laughs) Melting, melting. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) that's the last time you have to hear me say that. Uh Uh-oh. (laughs) <laughs> and then the last thing we talked about is that we're not in Kansas anymore because when we do things that are not correctly, they have real world consequences. That lion will take a bite out of you behind. So <laughs> basically that's it. So bye everyone. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.